let's let's just quickly move on to your your lifestyle. What newspapers or websites do you guys read every morning? We have a lot of viewers who asked about this, Bill. Every morning, what do you reach for? Uh, well, I read uh, New York Times, Wall Street Journal. The Economist is sort of my regular weekly fare. Um, he, he can give you <laughs> last week's by memory. <laughs> he knows every word. <laughs> no, it's great. It's great to have something you read on a regular basis, and they do special sections. Um, Charlie, what do you read? Well, I agree with Bill. I think the best one publication I read is The Economist, mm -hmm. which Definitely. is interesting. Yeah, well, I read that. But I, I, I read the local paper. I read the FT. I read the Wall Street Journal. I read the New York Times. And I, and I read USA Today. Um, what do you watch on TV? People wanted to know that, aside from sports. Yeah, I, know well, I watch sports, sports and I watch the Sunday news shows. And, mm -hmm. and uh, Is there one you prefer? No, I, I watch them all. You watch them all? Uh, I watch them all, and uh, I have them taped, and I race through them to some extent. Oh, so you are technical. <laughs> <laughs> no, my wife does it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, well, what else do I watch? I mean, is there a show you think out there is clever? Well, Comedy Central's clever. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's certainly, in a political season, there's a lot to make fun of. <laughs> Speaking of which, one of our viewers, one of our actually our viewer Twitterers, had asked, "Who do you think might be a good vice presidential candidate for Mitt Romney?" Charlie, I haven't the faintest idea. I have some people I don't think should qualify. Who? Oh, well, I'm not say. <laughs> I was hoping you'd ask him. <laughs> It'd be a long list. <laughs> Warren, what do you think? I think he should, and I think he, I think largely he will. I think he should pick somebody who he thinks would be best qualified to serve as president of the United States if anything happened to him. And and uh, people don't vote for the vice presidential candidate very, uh, to any great degree. So he can afford himself the luxury of doing that. And I think that he probably is the kind of person that will. Here's another Twitter person who wanted to know what is the most significant motivator in your working life and how has that changed through the years bill well i've kind of shifted from the innovation at microsoft which are great digital empowerment mm -hmm. things to helping the poorest and so figures like how many less children died this year than last year you know pretty exciting to see that we're getting that number down um, you know still a lot of science but it's it's aimed at the poorest now. Warren, your biggest motivator? Oh, I, I, just just running Berkshire. It's it, it's it's fun every day, and it's it's a never finished painting, and it's always got enough twists and turns in it to make it interesting. So I know I know I'll have you know I could I could be my age and retired, and I'd spend all week planning my haircut. You know, <laughs> this is a lot more fun. <laughs> I want to thank all of you, Bill Gates, Charlie Munger, and Warren Buffett, for joining us exclusively together. It's always fascinating to hear your perspectives on so many things. Thank you for being on Fox Business. Thank you.